Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Dev Town. As previously in the video, guys, we have like got the insight from the data. We have processed this data. Okay, so let me recall you what we have done yesterday. We have got the graph for or the exporter, importer, and the production of the country. Okay, or for the coffee. Okay, and now if you would be thinking that from where I am like getting this data, you can also get it. You just simply have to type this in your Google and it will show you this. Okay, I hope that till here there is guys no issue. So now what we will be doing in this today's video, I will show you some of the more like more way to get the insight from the data. Okay, so guys, I hope that you will like this video, enjoy this video, and this would be a very interesting and video of full of knowledge. Okay, so now I will let me create a new file here and name it as a coffee. Okay, so now what we will do, name already exit coffee one. Okay, so now what is the first step, guys? Okay, think. So guys, as usual, the first step is we have to import the library. We have to import NumPy as NP. Okay, again, let me tell you like what is this NumPy used for? So it is used for linear algebra. Okay, and after that we have to import pandas as PD, and this is used for data processing. And for and now we have to import mat plot library okay and dot py plot so this is used for plotting the graph in the python as i have also told you guys this thing earlier okay i hope that till here there is no issue everything is very much clear now we will come to the next part so now what we have to do we have to import our data so for first we have a uh, production then I will pd dot read okay underscore CSV inside this we will have the name of our file and the production file is name as production dot CSV Okay, I hope that this thing is very much clear. And now we will import the file for the consumption. So it will be domestic, we can say domestic consumption. Okay. And pd dot read. Let me correct this, otherwise you will give an error. PD dot C underscore CSV and inside this we have to write the name of the file which is named as the consumption dot CSV. Now for the same we have to do for the all files. Let me do this. Now guys, we have imported all the data from our files. Now we have to like design the plot. So we will start with plot.style. Okay, so now we will style the plot. Okay, and we will use 528. I will tell you like what this thing is. You have to just simply practice with me. Okay. And next part, you have to like, create a figure for the plot. Plot dot figure, and you have to like set the size of it. Figure size is equal to suppose I want thirty one comma base. 22 okay and now we have to set our horizontal bar chart so how we will do that pld dot plot b a r h okay 
and now we have to use the f underscore okay okay and now we will set here country and guys please check the spelling otherwise it will give you an error as i showed you earlier by the way guys this thing is like very much interesting if you do this by your hand your own compiler okay once the thing is done it will be like very much like relax okay now i will give the total production so now what we have to do we have to like set the x axis value so how I will do that plot dot so guys now we will set the font size here so we will set the font size here i want a font size of suppose 20 okay 20 pixel and for the y i will also set a font size y okay the same thing we have to do here for this i want so of font size 20 then i have to set the label title here plot dot x label okay as i have told you guys like what is the label i hope that this thing is very much clear to you so i will set a label total coffee production okay and for which i have a font size of uh, font size let me also set it otherwise it will set according to it not fit our screen yeah fine i have given a font size of suppose 24 it will be okay now i will set it for the while label okay now we have to set it the country guys i will like in this video later i will tell you everything like what i have done okay you will also get once the program runs and show us the graph so everything will be very much clear to you like for what purpose i have done the things okay now I have to set the current values here. Wait a second, guys. I have been yeah. Let us change the line. Okay. For the current values, we will use this plt dot gc hey guys these are also very simple thing i will tell you this okay in this all the series of the data science till the end i will teach you everything about the data science and trust me guys that you will get a very good knowledge of the data science which is mandatory nowadays okay so now i will set the plot dot gca okay set x tick label let me use the underscore okay guys now we'll use the square bracket and this single comma and then this then the comma then the dot then we will use zero we will do the f okay guys you don't worry about this thing i will like tell you you don't have to panic okay now we have to use uh, format x
now guys we have to set the label okay title label so we will use it uh, a b okay we have to set the title now title and this we have to get the heading of the label so we have total coffee production from nine okay now we will also set our font size here yeah, fine guys now we have to just simply use our very basic syntax which is plot dot show now guys our program is okay complete so now we run this see guys now what we are getting is this graph okay so now you can see like how much easy we have make our data to analyze okay so it is also giving us the coffee production as i have said the title total coffee production okay this label we have also set i hope guys that you are getting my point what i am trying to explain you now we are getting the total copy coffee production crop year from 1920 to 20 like 90 to 20 okay see the this is showing in the bar graph form as i have told you i hope guys you like this video and please subscribe to our channel devtown